Hey guys, this is Sam's Geek, and this is going to be my thoughts on E3. Now, this year, again, I think Microsoft did have the strongest conference of the three, and I will start off with them. Microsoft, they just amazed me with Natal. Natal looks amazing. It's just clean, precise, and it, I don't think it's going to cost that much money. I mean, it's only really a microphone and a very good camera. However, with Sony announcing their new motion sensing, I was not very impressed. Honestly, it looks like they tried to copy motions, you know, motion plus to a degree. It looked, it looked, ugh. I mean, if you looked at Nintendo's archery footage and Sony's archery footage, you could see that Nintendo's was more precise than Sony's. And it actually controlled better and wasn't waggling around like Sony's was. I don't know. And then it looks expensive, too. Think about it. You're even going to have to get two motion controllers as well as a PlayStation Eye. And a PlayStation Eye is 40 bucks by itself. And you and knowing Sony, their controllers cost 60 bucks a piece. So I wouldn't be surprised if these were $60. And if you add that up, that's $160 fucking dollars for the same shit as a Motion Plus, which is $20. Add on to your Wemo and Nunchuck. So, I don't know. It, it doesn't look that amazing to me because i've been a wii user since launch and half that shit you can already do on the wii without motion plus i don't know it just seems like oh we're going to jump into the market the reason the tall surprised me is they showed it and showed it fluently and not only that but milo could understand you it, it looked really really good and sony I might buy some more PSP games this this time around. I mean, I didn't buy any last year. I, I just, the whole market disinterests me. And it, there was nothing on the platform last year, aside from Crisis Core and God of War. Those were like the only two games that came out with this thing. So maybe I'll buy some more. I'm ashamed that they didn't mention any PS2 titles. They just said, oh, 300 are coming out this year. And what were they? I mean, the screenshot they showed had fucking Guitar Hero 3 on it. So, I doubt that those were the new ones that they were showing on the screen. So, that fucking made me piss because I'm still a PS2 owner and I still buy games for the thing. In fact, I just bought the PSP port of Secret Agent Clank. And, uh, it's definitely a PSP port. That's all I gotta say about this. They didn't even change the fucking resolution. Only possible on PlayStation, my ass. Oh my god, I can't believe they didn't even try to change the resolution on the fucking thing. I, up looks better than that, and that, that's saying something. Um, other than that, I, I was very impressed at Nintendo. I cannot wait for the new Metroid. That new Metroid made me so happy. I can't wait for Left 4 Dead 2. I can't wait for Splinter Cell. And God of War made me slightly interested in the PS3. But... I saw that it was majorly, majorly filled with fucking quick time events. And quick time events, I hate them. They're fucking, they're, they're, that makes it a fucking interactive movie. It makes it not really a game anymore. And that's what I hated in Resident Evil 5. I'm gonna punch a rock, guys! It's like, fuck. I, I, I dislike fucking, I think those are the worst fucking additions to a game ever. That's why I have not picked up Ninja Blade yet, and I'm not planning to pick up Ninja Blade, because I heard it's basically like God of War, but more, more fucking quick time events. And if that's how this one is, eh, I don't know, I'm not going to be interested in it at all. Um, other than that, they, they announced the agent for the fucking PS3, and it showed no fucking footage. This is Rockstar, what the hell's the matter with you? Are you stupid? This is exactly what you did with Chinatown Wars. You showed an image and then no footage. No footage at all. You showed an image, the fucking logo, and no footage. And look how well Chinatown Wars sold. It sold like shit. So, I'm very disappointed in Rockstar for doing that. That was a pretty stupid fucking move. And, um... I can't believe Valve is releasing Left 4 Dead 2 this early. That just surprises me because... Look how long it took him to release a sequel from fucking, from fucking Team Fortress 1 to Team Fortress 2. That took him like almost 10 years to release a sequel for that. So I'm very hyped for Left 4 Dead 2. 
since I really... I, I kind of enjoy the game more now with survival mode. I know I gave it an 8.6 back in the day, but I really enjoyed it after survival mode. I, I love survival mode in Left 4 Dead. I find it better than Horde on Gears of War 2. And Halo 3 ODST actually made me interested in it. It looked more Call of Duty-esque, and that's all you needed to do, Halo. That's all you needed to do. Improve stealth features and just make your game less I'm going to run and shoot someone 4 million times and then melee them. Because that's exactly what Halo 3 was. That should have fucking been Halo 3. ODST should have been Halo 3. But it wasn't, unfortunately. So, those are my thoughts on E3. Overall, I was impressed with every company. And I may actually get some PSP games this year and get some use out of this pile of shit that's, that it currently is right now. So, yeah. As for what I've been playing, I've been playing Clank, and I've been playing Punch-Out. Yes, I finally got Punch-Out. And that's all I've been playing lately, except for Resident Evil 5. I've been doing Mercenaries on there a little bit. So, that's my thoughts on E3. I thought the conferences were... Each one of them was amazing, but I thought Microsoft's was the strongest, because they did show off a shitload of new stuff. Sony showed off some new stuff, and... Oh yeah, they showed off that... I sh like, here's the thing. You guys probably aren't yell at me. Why aren't you interested in the little racing game? All right, because I, on the 360 we're getting Joyride, and you can make your own fucking tracks, just like this game, and it's free. So, why the hell would I pay sixty dollars for something I can get for free? I don't know. It it just seems like the same thing. So, until I see more footage of that, I won't comment on it anymore. So. Uh, that's what I thought of those things. And I can't believe Joyride is free. I would think Microsoft, being the way they are, would pay for it. Make you pay for it. Oh, yeah, and then the Avatar clothes. There's just so much. I can't discuss it in one video. I'll probably discuss it more during the Samuel Rambles that come on this week. Samuel out.